Welcome everyone to this Daily Declaration podcast. We're so grateful to have John Irwin here. He's in LA at the moment. And uh, John, a big welcome to you. Thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate your time. Oh, thanks for having me. And, uh, and it's good to be talking to tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm that many hours behind you, you know, and uh, I'm also blown away that, that, that movies travel the world like they do. And so I'm, I'm, I'm awestruck that, uh, that Jesus Revolution is, is, is opening um, in Australia, and, and, and I'm, I'm grateful. It certainly is. It was released yesterday. We're very excited about it here down under. If I can start, you founded in 2019 the Kingdom Story Company. Mm -hmm. to produce Christian films. Can you briefly tell us a little bit about your passion and desire for what you want to achieve? Well, I like, there's a verse in Acts where Paul, uh, the Apostle Paul says of David that he served the purposes of God in his generation. And I love that concept that we're trying to take what never changes, which is the gospel, and just what's Mm -hmm. good news for everyone and hope that the world needs. And we're trying to give it to what is constantly changing, which is our generation. And Mm -hmm we sit in between those two things. And what I love is that mass media, films and television, it's just an incredibly powerful way to tell a story. It really is tailor-made for uh, injecting it with the hope of the gospel. And so for many years, we've been uh, trying to learn how to do that and learn how to do it better and better. And uh, I'm from uh, the South in America, from Alabama and uh, the heartland, you know, and, and, but I started working for uh, ESPN sports television when I was 15 and just sort of, you know, joined, joined the circuits of entertainment and uh, cause someone got sick and I got to take their place. And my dad helped me get a camera the next year. And we, um, my brother and I, we just started making things and mm. that led to making a lot of music videos for a lot of Christian music artists like Michael B. Smith and Amy Grant. And I don't, they helped us start and many, many, many other. And, um, and then I, I worked on a Christian movie uh, called Courageous. I did the act, I directed mm-hmm. the action sequences mm-hmm. to that movie because I I was very used to doing that type of work, and the the, the director of that film asked me a very powerful question. He said, "John, what's your purpose and the purpose of your work?" Mm-hmm. And not only could I not answer the question, I couldn't stop thinking about the question. And mm-hmm. um, the more I thought about it, uh, the more I wanted an answer to that question, and that led to a fusion of my career and, and a life's calling. And, um, and we started making movies and, you know, each one sort of built on the last. And finally our breakout hit was in 2018. It was a movie called I Can Only Imagine. Mm-hmm. And it did very, very well, uh, far exceeded expectations. And that led to a relationship with the movie studio Lionsgate and a concept that, that in a company that we call Kingdom, you know, and the idea of it is what can we do together that none of us can do alone. And, and the hope is to empower many, many more artists and, and many, many more ideas. And, uh, and uh, that's led to films like I Still Believe in American Underdog and, and then finally this passion project that I've been wanting to get made for seven years, which is Jesus yeah. Revolution. Yeah, I think we'd all agree you are getting better and better and we're uh, very excited about what is being produced and that does lead us to Jesus Revolution. How did it begin? I think I watched an interview where you picked up a copy of Time magazine yeah, you know in 2015. Funny. Was it the magazine? Was I've what's the it. genesis Let's of the see. thought? I've got it here because I I promised Jonathan Rumi, who plays Jesus in the Chosen, that I would mm-hmm. give him this after the movie. But I have uh, he's filming Chosen season four, and I'm bouncing around, so we we failed to get together. So it's been sitting in my laptop. But this is the this is the initial magazine mm-hmm. I bought seven years mm-hmm. ago on eBay. It's a little tattered now, but but. It's, uh, uh, but, gonna be worth a bit more now. <laughs> you know, it's funny they are after the movie. Uh, um, but but I but I found this on eBay and, and I read the article and this was five years after the cover of Time, first Time magazine cover that had no picture. It just said on a black backdrop with red text, "Is God dead?" Yeah. And then five years later, Jesus is on the cover of Time in this in this headline, "The Jesus Revolution." And so I was like, "What happened between these two magazines?" And I'm very curious by nature, and so I started researching it. And the more I researched it. Uh, the more I couldn't stop thinking about it and the more it felt like a modern story. It didn't feel like a, uh, you know, like something set in the seventies. It just felt like we were facing so many of the same issues and division and despair. And the word desperate came up a lot. It was just, it was a tough time in America and around the world. And that's when God broke through and this spiritual awakening swept America. And 
And the more I learned about it, the more I felt like I really want to do a movie of this. And that led to a great relationship with the pastor, Greg Laurie, and his wife, Kathy, and uh, wonderful friends to this day. And we just began to try to make a movie. And we tried for years to like, I just think that God's timing is so perfect because this mm -hmm. took years and years to get made. And, mm -hmm. um, and yet finally, uh, uh, at a very interesting time, you know, we, we, we got the film made and, uh, and it's just been that passion project. So between every film, like I can only imagine, and I still believe in American Under, we've, Underdog, we've been, I've been like, I really want to get this movie made. And so to see it finally, um, come out and then come out at such a perfect time mm -hmm. and then, uh, and then do again, far in excess of all of our expectations mm. is just a, a beautiful mm. thing. Mm. Yeah, it's brilliant stuff. With expectations, what were your initial desires for the movie? Have they changed as they've gone along? Has it broadened? Well, you know, I tell people that this is a, this is a very selfish exercise for me because I just wanted to feel what revival felt like. You know, my mm -hmm. generation and everyone younger than me, we've never experienced anything like the Jesus mm -hmm. Revolution. Mm -hmm. And the more I learned about it, the more I wanted to experience it in my own life. Uh, and and we did, we felt it while we were making the film, especially mm -hmm. while we were doing the baptisms. Mm -hmm. But my goal is first and foremost, and always to entertain the audience. I think, you know, the fact that someone will go to my movie instead of Avatar, <laughs> you know, or Top Gun that costs 20 times what my movie costs to make is still incredible. And so I, I go to the movies to have a, an emotional experience. And, um, and so we, we want to do everything we can to entertain you and to, to create an experience that'll make you laugh and cry and cheer and feel better coming out of the movie than you did going in. But once we've done that, I really do feel like the right story can change your life. And that's one of the reasons why we love true, true stories is mm -hmm. because when you watch a true story of transformation, you instantly begin to think, maybe this can happen to me. Mm -hmm. And the goal of this film has always been, if it happened then, it can happen now. Mm -hmm. And if it happened at a similar time, maybe this can happen again today. That's always been the goal mm -hmm. uh, of why we've made the film. So mm -hmm. to see even before the film came out in America, these spontaneous revivals at college campuses begin to happen. Mm. Uh, the main one was at this campus, Asbury, Asbury and yeah. uh, where, by the way, that happened in that same building during the Jesus movement. And and uh, yeah. and my wife and I went over there and just sat in the pews, and um, you know, it, it was an unbelievable feeling. And just hearing what God is doing in a new generation was mm -hmm. so inspiring. And mm -hmm. um, and I really do feel like we could be on the verge of another Jesus revolution today, not only in America, but around the world. Mm -hmm. and, and indeed the Jesus revolution in the seventies spread to the globe. And so that's my hope. And that's my prayer, my role in it. We all have a role to play. We all have gifts to bring. My role in it is to just tell the story as best I can uh, through a movie. That's, that's what I do. That's what God gave me as a camera. And, mm -hmm. uh, but we all have a role to play mm -hmm. in what I hope is just another surge of, of, uh, of awakening um, in America and throughout the world. Mm. It's fantastic. And I've heard that line a number of times. If it happened once, it can happen again. Of course it can because the same God is in charge of heaven and he's not yeah. going anywhere. If we can just finish up then, uh, you talk, I, I do remember seeing about the baptisms in, particularly, in particular, there was a, you described it as a spiritual power. Can you... Yeah unpack that just a little bit for us what well, it felt one, like yeah, to be on the, the beach and let me see let me see if this magazine still holds up it, it's uh one of the places that we wanted to go back to was pirates cove mm -hmm. where many of where uh a lot of the iconic photography was now as a film you, you don't like this is uh if you see this magazine fall apart that's pirates cove and uh and and many of the pictures in this magazine were there that's where these maps mass baptisms in california were taking place and so I felt it was very important to go back to the actual location mm -hmm. where much of this happened. And, um, and yet for a film crew, it was very impractical. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it, Pirate's Cove is like a crescent and it's jagged rocks. It's, 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 it's pretty high and you have to go up and over. So to get film equipment up and over, it's not, it's not conducive to, to a film crew. And I guess you could have filmed it on any other beach, but I just felt it was important. And I'll tell you this, it was so cool. It's, it's the most powerful day in my career, uh, you just felt it. You felt it in the air. And um, as we were baptizing people, Jonathan Rumi, uh, who plays Lonnie in the movie, 
plays Jesus on the chosen. Mm-hmm. He came up out of the water and he said, I'm doing this exactly like Greg Laurie taught me to. Greg did a little baptism class. Who knew? You <laughs> got to get to the right water depth or you could throw out your back. And yeah. these are things only pastors know. And the prayer in the movie he wrote and 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 taught it to Jonathan. And and uh, and so he's like, I'm doing it just like he said. But but what's this is crazy? Like people are wanting to get baptized for real. They're making real decisions. And, I'm, and I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. And it was multiple people and even the real Greg Laurie, as we were filming, you know, the scene between uh, Lonnie and Greg in ter- terms of life imitating art, uh, Greg was baptizing a member of the cast that he had struck up a, a, a conversation with a few hundred feet away. And so you just felt God at work. You felt a level of spiritual power that I've never felt before mm-hmm. uh, in my career mm-hmm. uh, on any set. And uh, and it was a spectacular moment. And I think you feel that when you watch the movie, mm-hmm. you know, and, and we all need, I was baptized at at, at age five. Um, and I grew up in church, uh, and it's always been a huge part of my life, but we all need renewal in our lives. We all need rebirth. And and that's what baptism represents. And so I even had, I'm like, man, if I wasn't direct this movie, I'd have to be <laughs> baptized. I mean, this is just that powerful. And, uh, and it was, it was a special day and a special moment in the film. Yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant stuff. John, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we, we just ask all of heaven's blessing on your Kingdom Story Company and all that you have done and will do in the future. And we look forward to more movies that shift culture. And hopefully we do see a Jesus revolution in our day and age too. So thank you so much for God your time. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, great. Thank you so much. Thank you.